Today, Governor Wes Moore toured the U.S. Wind Facility in Sparrows Point and met with the people who will build an offshore wind manufacturing yard here in Baltimore. Alex Clay has joined us now. So, Alex, what can you tell us about the manufacturing yard coming here? Every time I come out here, I get more excited about our future. Sparrows Point, the home of the future of energy in Maryland. We're hoping that we're going to write the next chapter here at Sparrows Point, right? This was the home of the biggest steel mill in the world once, and it hadn't been really used much in the last couple of decades. And we want to create the next generational opportunity for jobs here. As many as 500 people will work at the U.S. Winds facility in Sparrows Point. The towers the wind turbines sit on will be made in Baltimore. Those towers, 300 feet long and about 3,000 tons of steel. This is exciting because this is going to help to set the tone for how Maryland is thinking about moving into the future and doing it in a way that's going to be able to support families with work, wages, and wealth. The people of Maryland are why the governor believes the state can be a leader in offshore wind energy. Well, I think that there's a lot of geographic benefits that the state of Maryland has that makes us uniquely prepared to become an offshore uh, wind leader, but also it's about the measurement of entrepreneurial activity and, and vigor that, uh, that we have here in the state of Maryland where we want to compete. And we think this is an industry that we won't just compete in, but this industry that, that we can win at. And the facility here in Sparrows Point is still about two years away from construction. They're still going through the planning and permit process, which can take a couple of years. But there are already hundreds of people working on this project. In Sparrows Point, Alex Glees, WJZ. Great for the area. Thank you, Alex.